Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about questionable concepts in physics and today I'm talking about neutrinos. Why should neutrinos be questionable? Well, first of all we have a big riddle regarding the beta decay. Okay, A neutron decays into a proton, into, into an electron and there is some energy missing. That puzzled physicists a lot in the 1930s and it was then when Wolfgang Pauli came up with his famous proposal of an unknown particle uh, so far, which was not meant to be too serious uh, at the time, but uh, well. Um, it's remarkable that uh, after 1930 it took more than 25 years that the evidence was found for the neutrino in the Coben and Reins experiment in 1956. Then uh, the, the history of neutrino uh, physics is interesting because there was, al was always something, something missing. Okay? Energy was missing though they found the neutrino. Then in successive experiments again the neutrinos were missing and they found another type of neutrino, the electron, uh, no sorry, the um, muon neutrino. Yeah? The first one was renamed the electron neutrino. Then again the muon neutrino was missing and they postulated the tau neutrino and they found the tau neutrino. Okay? And then there were again um, difficulties in the experiment and, and they couldn't explain the data and they postulated oh, there could be neutrino oscillations. One neutrino uh, flavor magically transforming into another sort. So uh, never back again. Eh? That's by the way a detail. So. Uh, one neutrino physicist uh, once said uh, neutrino physics is learning a lot, lot from seeing nothing and uh, epistemologically this should, uh, should people make reflect more. I think that it, it's very strange that over such a long period so many new particles were postulated and keep in mind it's not that every experiment really provides evidence or independent confirmation for the old particle. It's just intended to, to prove the existence of the new particle. So I would really like to have all these experiments repeated, independently repeated every day, the Coben and Ryan ex Ryan's experiments, also the Lederman experiment in 1963 about um, muon neutrinos. And they are unfortunately they are not very transparent, okay, these transparents. They don't publish their data. Also the big collaborations, they just um, yeah, make their own analysis, which is not very transparent. After all, I think uh, the, now the field has entered in a nonsensical stage because we have already three uh, flavors of neutrinos and the oscillations, which means an extra bunch of, of free parameters. And now they are even postulating so-called sterile neutrinos. That means a fourth, fifth and sixth flavor this is this is going to be nonsensical. People should realize that there is a problem and uh, there were from the beginning many doubts about the neutrino concepts even in the in the 1950s and 1960s so but people just well they don't like to express their doubts these doubts are not published because you don't make a paper out of that but sometimes uh, physicists had a gut feeling that all this is the wrong way and that's what I believe. Rather than believing in a sixth or even more flavors I think that we are grossly fooling ourselves with this concept and um, well I don't I don't say that there isn't a problem. There is a problem in, in interpreting the available evidence but uh, you rather than postulating new free parameters you should go back to 1930 and look at the real puzzle which is the beta decay okay if you like the video don't forget to uh, give it a thumb up and if you enjoy uh, fundamental questions of physics don't forget to subscribe to this channel